Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title down below, I'm going to be making a big a big batch of spaghetti bolognese. Now this isn't definitely no traditional recipe, this is just kind of how I do it and my twist and take on it, I suppose. Um, a little heads up, I don't know if you'll be able to hear the music in the background, but the boys are at the back uh, working out on the yard. So I thought I'll come inside and make a big lot of spaghetti for lunch and we'll probably have some for tea tonight too and we'll probably freeze some as well and when i say freeze some i actually would only do the pasta that we'll eat today and then the leftover sauce i'll freeze just because i don't like the pasta frozen i feel like the starch with the pasta and it. it's just not nice we need to frost it also i am sick um my chest hurts and i'm out of breath because i'm talking so quickly but yeah, so we're just going to be making some spaghetti and like I said, this is not a traditional recipe. This is just how I like to do it and what works with us and yeah, so I just thought I'd show you guys. So of course, first things first with my cooking videos is the ingredients and uh, if you guys know, like have watched other videos, I'm probably going to add some more things that's not in here because um, I generally do leave things out. But <clears throat> I got this kilo of beets beef mince this is not the lean one it's um it's like quite a fatty one um so i'll have to drain the fat when that cooks i'll show you guys how i do that so i'm going to use a whole kilo and because i got a a, a a lot of mince and because i'm mostly going to freeze some i want it to be extra saucy so then when it defrosts it's still nice and saucy so i got a 700 gram jar of this cooking sauce that i actually stopped from mom's house while she was at work so thanks mom um, then I just got some uh, pasta sauce, just like your normal jar size, which is what 500 grams. And then I also got a tin of uh, diced tomatoes. In this bag, I got a capsicum and two onions, which I just took from mum, so thanks, mum. I got three carrots here because these are like pretty small and skinny. I might add some more, I don't know, but I'm gonna start with three. I got garlic. Got the spaghetti. Um, what I'm going to season it with is I got some chili powder. I'm probably going to use the rest of this. There's not much at all in here. Um, and some paprika. Is this going to look too? I might, I don't know. I'll just see how I'll go. Uh, mixed herbs. And then I like to use a blend of mozzarella cheese and pasty cheese. And this is just like the pre shredded cheese because I'm lazy. Um, and also to season it, I got honey just uh, to cut out the tartness and just because I like the, like the sweet, I like the sweet tomato kind of sauce. Um, I got some pepper. I just got white pepper too. I might put some white pepper in actually. And I also got some bay leaves because my plan is to have this simmering on the pot for two to three hours. Um, and yeah, so that's an overview of the ingredients. Um, but like I said, I most likely have missed some things or whatever but for now we'll just start with this so this is how my veggies are looking now so i just roughly chopped up the two onions i ended up using five small carrots and also with my carrots i just wash them and i keep the peel on it's not focusing Um, yeah, I just wash them and I keep the skin on because one, I'm lazy and two, it actually doesn't bother us. I always, I never peel my carrots, so I always just keep it with the peel on. Um, and so the onion and the carrot, I'm going to use this little thing that I actually bought from Wish. Um, you can buy them from Kmart. I recommend this one does die. I'll definitely buy them from Kmart. They're really cheap. Um, and it's just like a blade. Um, and this is just like a string attachment to chop up the vegetables. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with the onion and carrot. The capsicum I cut into um, thin slices, which I'm just going to leave like that. And the garlic, um, I had two big cloves and two tiny cloves. I just kind of like crushed it slightly. And yeah, I'm just going to fry that like that. But with this little gadget, I'm just going to... Do the onion and the carrot. So I'll show you guys what it's like. Um, so I'll start off with some onion. So I just pretty much fill it like this. I don't really overfill it or anything. Pop the lid on. Um, like 
that. And then And then that's how fine the onion ends up coming. And you can keep going to get it more fine or you can leave it like this. Don't do it as far to get it more uh, like bigger bits. But yeah, so I'm just going to work through my veggies like that. Um, like with this with the onion and carrot. And chuck it straight into my pot straight away with some oil. But my, my pot's just next to me. It's not on the heat or anything yet. All right, so now that um, majority of this mince is now browned, I would wait till it's completely brown, but I am in quite a rush. Um, I'm gonna start adding the sauces. So I'm first gonna do the tomatoes. Well, it doesn't really matter what order, I'm just gonna dump them all in. With my jars, I always put a little bit of water in it, shake it up to get like more of the sauce. Put it back on. And now I'm going to turn the heat right down to low. Um, this was on a medium to high heat, by the way, when I was browning off the onion, carrot, and the beef, the mince. I'm going to add the, uh, the capsicum. And now with the seasonings, it is truly just to your own likings and what you guys just prefer for yourself. So for now, some salt and pepper. With my chili, I'm probably gonna add the rest of what I've got here. So it's probably like a half, ta uh, half a teaspoon, if that. Some paprika, probably same amount, which is pretty much all of it, so I'll just finish this off and when I add dry herbs I don't know why but I always like rub it in my fingers just to kind of like open up the um open them up a bit I don't even know if it does anything but so I just kind of rub it and then I dump it in so for now I'm just going to start off with three pinches like just small pinches And honey just to you don't want too much you don't want too sweet just want to cut out the tomato with tomato ish so I've got about a tablespoon maybe a little under because I want it a bit more saucy and because it's gonna simmer for a bit I am gonna add probably half a jar of water Now, if I was just cooking this to eat straight away, like quickly, I wouldn't add any water. But because it is going to be simmering for quite a while, um, that's why I added the water. So when it reduces, it it still stays, stays saucy. I might even add some more, actually. Just 
And last but not least is the bay leaf. So um, we're just going to pop four. So one last mix. I would have liked to fry it off the garlic more longer as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just in a bit of a rush to get to my doctor's appointment. So that can stay like that. And I'm just going to leave the lid on and I've got it, the burner on the lowest it can go. So it should be fine with the lid completely on. I've made such a mess. Um, but yeah, so when I come back from the doctor's, I'll check it. I might get Nick to stir it once or twice while I'm out and yeah. All right. So it's been simmering for about two hours now. Um, and you can see like the layer of, uh, fat and oil, like the oil that I used to cook with it comes up to the top and some fat. So what I'm going to do now is just pretty much skim it and get rid of it. So yeah, so for the first two hours of this on, the lid has been on and we've just been stirring it like every 15-20 minutes or so. Um, now I'm going to leave the lid off for an hour and then we should be all ready to eat. Alright, so I've now put all of the sauce into this pot. Um, it splattered everywhere, like you can see the splatters, the splatters there, but it went like everywhere. But I cleaned everything else up on like the bit on the white on the benches and stuff and this is all of the sauce. I was hoping it would fit in this bowl so it came close. Um, so a pretty decent sized bowl there. And then with my pot I just cleaned it out and I got some um, water in here to start boiling so I can start cooking some spaghetti pasta. All right, so that's pretty much all for my recipe um, video. I hope you guys enjoyed. With the leftover sauce, as you can tell that there's a lot left over, I'm just going to be freezing that. So I'll pop them in bags and freeze them later. Um, I might leave it in the fridge for like up until tomorrow night in case if Nick feels like more or I feel like more, we can just easily cook up some more pasta. And these servings are done were massive. Like both of the boys done heaps of yard work, so starving hungry. <laughs> And with me, um, I got a huge bowl, but I won't eat all of that. I'll put it in the fridge and probably have some later because we also are having quite an early dinner. It's only four o'clock. Um, but yeah, so that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my other recipes that I have planned like to come up with videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.